Welcome back. Now in world news, Venezuela's opposition leader is calling for new demonstrations to force out President Nicolas Maduro. Juan Guaido also urged the country's armed forces to rise up and support his cause. CBS4's Adriana Diaz is in Caracas. Their faces were concealed, but they wanted their presence seen. Dozens of self-proclaimed President Juan Guaido supporters displayed a united front. They gathered at this plaza in eastern Caracas. The opposition's home base. The rest of the city was mostly quiet. Despite Guaido's call for morning rallies outside military installations in hopes of attracting soldiers to his movement. We found lackluster protests like this one near the National Guard base. We asked if their movement had lost steam. She said not at all. They have more energy than ever. Venezuela's dueling presidents are in a tug of war over the country's most critical constituency, the military. El momento es ahora. On Tuesday, Guaido appeared with sympathetic soldiers announcing a military uprising which never materialized. Instead, armored vehicles squashed opposition protests. Since then, Nicolas Maduro has showed off his military support almost daily in photo ops, including today, when he told troops he trusts their loyalty. John Goecochea is part of the opposition's transitional government. So why would they appear next to Maduro? Well, they are, they are afraid. They know that they can be tortured. That happens in every dictatorship. I mean, that happens until the last day. But we just need one lucky day. Nicolas Maduro has not issued an arrest order for Juan Guaido. Guaido's team tells us that's because an arrest could lead to public outrage and potential U.S. military intervention. Two things they say Maduro does not want. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Caracas, Venezuela.